Health Break is sponsored by Dignity Health Central Coast. Rotator cuff tears can impact everyone from children to adults. Dr. Jonathan Fow with Pacific Central Coast Health Centers explains how surgery can help. Definitively, you end up getting an MRI to determine whether or not there's a rotator cuff tear or not. But suspicion should be if you have you know, pain kind of in your deltoid area that radiates down but not below your elbow, pain with overhead activity, pain with reaching. Rotator cuff injury can be from overuse. Young kids, it's usually just throwing too much. As they get older and pitching, then you worry about injuries to the arm or overhead athletes like volleyball players. So volleyball players can get rotator cuff tendonitis where they're not really damaging it yet, but they're irritating it. And then as you transition into the 30s and 40s, then you're actually getting rotator cuff tears. My specialty is arthroscopic rotator cuff repair, so you make small incisions in the shoulder to allow passage of instruments and also a fiber optic camera. So you visualize it through a fiber optic camera and you use these little instruments to clean up where the rotator cuff is torn and then you essentially sew it back together. It's an outpatient surgery and you end up in a sling for about six weeks. Immediately after surgery, you'll start stretching to prevent stiffness. So after six weeks, you can start lifting your arm. The repair itself is probably as strong as it's gonna be right around four months. The muscles around your shoulder would probably be maximally improved around eight months. For more information, visit dignityhealth.org slash Central Coast. I'm Kristen Presol. Health Break was sponsored by Dignity Health Central Coast.